<laughs> Are you worried priming your Warhammer miniatures? So this tutorial is for you. What? First of all, put the whole miniature together, put it together, assemble it. You can use blue tack and then remove the pieces later. Blue tack. Remember, so you will have to use only cyanoculate. Then wear gloves or paint your hands and enjoy how the primer grips on your nails. <laughs> Remember, this is this is something really difficult to remove later, right? So always that that nails you have to remove just scratching well with your thumbs. <laughs> Check outside or where you are going to prime. It's between 50 to 90 Fahrenheit or 10 to 30 celsius that is to say that it's about rain or it's raining it's not the best day for the priming the water particles will be in to the primer and you will get pimples on your miniatures and the primer will make weird effects remember try to choose all the primers if you have if you are living in a place where it's raining a lot of time or the weather it's always cloudy or with a lot of wet in the weather wet in the weather with a lot of uh, humidity on the weather. Then, shake the can well. Well means well. Not as I'm doing in this video, do it well, so that you can see that you know how to shake it. The distance to prime is not even joking, 40 centimeters. Please, don't prime from a this far distance for your models. At that distance, the primer is carried away by the air. You will pay the primer at the price of the gold. What? <laughs> Prime close to the miniature with very short phases, with confidence. You know how to do it. You have painted more than 20 miniatures already. Come on, you can do it. I trust you. Always start priming from the bottom first. This way you will paint the shadows first and then in the middle areas and finally where the light will go. That is to say from the top, the opposite of what you have always been told. Using this way you won't leave unprimed areas. If you paint from the front or from above as indicated on the can or around the people is talking about, you won't see the shadows area well and you will leave a lot of unprinted surfaces. This is an amazing super trick. Always starting below than above. This is really important and more if you are priming with black color or darker colors at the beginning. If you are painting with white, it should be similar but it's easier to see the shadows. But when you are painting or priming with black, start always from the bottom of the miniatures, always. If you're going to prime with two colors, one light and another dark, use the dark one first and then the light one. The dark first through the miniature and the light in general above the miniature and then reinforce where you want to generate a focus of light. This is what is often forgotten and this is why this technique is a little meh. Okay, if you want me to explain more in depth this, tell me in the comments. And it's something that you only see in this channel because I was painting in that way many years ago. <laughs> then dry the primer. For that mission, I'm going to recommend you use the hair dryer. I will explain you mine, but this is the secret. It's my legendary hair dryer that nobody has seen it and nobody knows the brand. If we reach 100,000 followers, I'm going to explain you and show you my ultimate hair dryer <laughs> to use on my miniatures. <laughs> And the last trick of the primer, something you don't want to miss. Do you want to see how I prime with the brass and air brass? Don't miss the next videos because I'm going to explain you in depth here with a lot of tricks, a lot of funny comments and for sure a lot of tricks from my experience. So again, welcome and see you next time. Bye!